First tonight, a popular social media trend turns violent in downtown St. Pete after multiple people report gel ball shootings. The ammo loaded in these weapons are made up of water beads marketed toward children as play sets. You're watching 10 Tampa Bay at 6 o'clock. I'm Carolina Lee. And I'm Dave Wagner. Local law enforcement agencies say they're seeing more of these trends going viral. 10 Tampa Bay's Megan Meyer spoke to two people who were targeted and ended up in the hospital. I'm getting hit all over my chest. She's getting hit chest face. For this St. Pete couple, a walk downtown turned into a trip to the ER after they were hit by dozens of gel beads. I had breathed it in when I screamed because we were getting hit. Shooting off these pea-sized gel beads is a popular TikTok trend. It's dubbed the Or Bees Challenge. It involves teens filming themselves shooting off the beads at strangers. These two weren't the only ones targeted in downtown St. Pete last weekend. Mike Schumann says he was hanging out by his parked car saying goodbye to some friends. I just saw this white and orange gun sticking out of the back window. He was hit directly in the eye. I was really worried I was going to lose my eyesight. Schumann says the gel beads ruptured blood vessels near his eye, disrupting his vision and causing a lot of pain. Although the pain has subsided now and he can see out of that eye again, Schumann says the incident has left him feeling very uneasy. I'm always going to be nervous, you know, as cars pass me when I'm when I'm going out. St. Pete police say there were six cases reported in the downtown St. Pete area that Saturday and Sunday. Less than an hour away over in Pinellas County, Clearwater police say they have also been dealing with more and more incidents involving this TikTok trend specifically. As you know, we see new technology, new trends, new devices. Everybody wants their um, you know, 10 seconds of fame. Rob Shaw with Clearwater Police says they make sure their officers are aware of different viral social media trends like this that can lead to harmful situations. Sometimes we distribute internal bulletins that kind of, you know, hey, this is something you need to be on the lookout for. As police in St. Pete continue to investigate these recent incidents, asking for anyone with information to contact them, this couple says they're trying to collect some information on their own hoping it will lead to identifying the people responsible. We have offered up to a $2,000 reward. Megan Myers, 10 Tampa Bay. Now, St. Pete police believe the people involved were driving a black Nissan Altima. Once again, they're asking anyone with information to call them.